back to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma what is up full time family boxing legend roy jones jr wants dana white el jefe to step aside for anderson silva super fight and i think this is the perfect time for this fight if any time ever now this isn't a fight that these guys are just trying to do for the money. This is actually just two legends of two different combat sports wanting to come together and test themselves versus one another. And it's not. And originally, I understood why Dana White and the UFC would not want Anderson Silva to do this. For one, because it's not really a super fight in the aspect of, oh, millions of people are going to buy this fight like a Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather. But there's multiple reasons now I've changed my tune, and I think the Dana White or the UFC or whoever's handling Anderson Silva's contract at this moment should probably let Anderson Silva take this fight. Now, one of the reasons is Anderson Silva's been on a little bit of a losing streak. He was on like a four-fight losing streak before beating Derek Brunson, and even in that fight, which he won, it was kind of questionable. But Anderson Silva, that was his last fight to date. He was going to be fighting... Um, Kelvin Gaslam in the main event of UFC Shanghai where he f got a second USADA doping violation so it's not like if Anderson Silva goes over to boxing and loses to Roy Jones Jr. it's gonna hurt you know the UFC too much you know originally you wouldn't want your your the legend of your sport Anderson Silva going over and fighting like a boxer past their prime and getting, you know, beat up. But Anderson Silva isn't at the top of the game anymore. And also, since the UFC has let Conor McGregor go and fight Floyd Mayweather, I think it's, you know, I don't I don't want to say it's only right, but I think it's, you, you'd you have to give me a good reason to not let Anderson Silva go. Anderson Silva has also said this himself, but um, with Conor McGregor going over, well, with, you know, why wouldn't Anderson Silva be able to go? fight boxing and you know this is somebody that's done um, keep in mind how much anderson silva's done for this sport even if he the end of his career is kind of you know ruined his legacy a little bit what he did for the sport even when he was on steroids some people are gonna say even when anderson silva was in his prime what he did was draw a lot of eyes to the sport he was uh, essentially the Conor McGregor before Conor McGregor. Whenever somebody, a casual fan, saw Anderson Silva's fights, they were like, yo, what the hell is going on? Everybody, whether you loved him or hate him, Anderson Silva was one of the biggest stars of the sport, and he definitely helped the sport become what it is today. And, and that's a fact. If there was a Mount Rushmore of MMA, I mean, you could argue it because of how Anderson Silva's career has ended with the losing streak and the tainted, you know, the multiple failed drug test. But if you're just talking about um, the fucking forefathers of MMA, if you're talking about a god damn, I can't think of that structure, bro. You know what I'm talking about? The fucking Mount Rushmore. <laughs> If you're talking about uh, MMA's Mount Rushmore, you got to put Anderson Silva's face on there it, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, helped pave the way for the sport to be what it is today. So with all that being aside, Roy, Roy Jones Jr. could say the same thing about boxing. Both of these guys are legends of the sport coming together. It's not like this is a money grab. That's one of the other arguments I would give you. It's not like this is a fucking money grab where Anderson Silva's like, yo, I just want to fight a popular boxer because I want a lot of money. No, he grew up looking up to Roy Jones Jr. He says that's one of the legends of the sport. He's always wanted to test himself against Roy Jones Jr. It would be different if Anderson Silva was calling out Oscar De La Hoya or Manny Pacquiao or Polly McNoodle, somebody that, you know, he was just looking for money against. But, I mean, it is what it is here. I don't think this is just a money grab. I truly do think this is two legends of two separate combat sports wanting to test each other against themselves. And with the, with the way Anderson Silva's career has ended, I think this is the perfect time. Roy Jones Jr. has announced his retirement fight. Anderson Silva's probably going to be retiring sooner rather than later. So, if both of these guys are still up to it, one last fight. I think we should make it happen. I'm 100% would be in to watch Roy Jones Jr. versus Anderson Silva. Now, with all of that being said, Roy Jones Jr. retirement fight is February 8th in Pensacola, Florida. And you guys know that Charles Felony Bennett, Felony Charles Bennett, I should say, is going to be fighting on that card. So I, I, I would love to watch that card. I'm going to have to try and find a stream. Like, I'm actually going to try and do like a fight companion, at least for Felony Charles Bennett's fights on that card. But that's Roy Jones Jr.'s retirement fight. 
fight, but he did say if the UFC or Dana White would allow it, he would fight one last time versus Anderson Silva. And also, Anderson Silva has taken to Twitter and said, everyone knows my dream. With all respect to the great Roy Jones Jr., I hope we can make this spectacle. So with that being said, it is what it is. Let the full-time family know what you think about Roy Jones Jr. versus Anderson Silva in the comments. I'm 100% down, and I think this is the perfect time. There's not too much to lose if Anderson Silva does go to another sport and lose a boxing match. It's kind of like Conor McGregor. Yeah, but you went to a new sport. You might have lost the fight, but you went to a new sport and challenged yourself. And if this is somebody that's did so much for MMA, I don't see why he shouldn't be able to do this. So with that being said, it is what it is. Let the full time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. Bye, Felicia.